In Chamorro, the word taitse means immeasurable, limitless, fearless. It's the way Rudolph Rudy Rivera II wants Chamorro dancers to feel when they're in front of his Canon camera. Under the name Taitse, Rudy has married his love of Chamorro culture with his new passion of photography. I was tasked with a small project for my, my guma, uh, Rosna Tulati. We had a 15th year showcase back in 2013, 14. And um, he wanted me to take pictures, my Fafanagui told me to take pictures of the different dancers and their costumes in different locations around the island. And I was like, okay, fine, I'll try it out. So I practiced. I thought I took it as practice. I just like took a picture and I didn't call myself a photographer back then. I just said, hey, this looks nice, whatever. And then the moment when the showcase came and I saw all the, all the, uh, all the, all the photos lined up against the wall, it kind of like struck me as like, wow. Rudy had captured the intense passion and labor the dancers had put in for the show. The photos were not just his work. It was the dancers work too, he says. Very overwhelming, overwhelming feeling. Then a few months down the line, I wanted to just, I, I offered it to the other, uh, the other Fafanavi, the other tribal council members on taking photos of their guma. This idea to shoot photos of Guam's dancers came to Rudy years back when he worked closely with Master of Chamorro Dance, Frank Rabone, at Pa'a Tau Tau Tanu. Back then, they relied on photos from online, other photographers, friends, and family to document their performances. Later on that year, my dad, my dad, my my biggest fan in the world, I can't do anything without him. But he he bought me a laptop. Now he bought me a big a big boy camera. So <laughs> so when I did that, I started like dabbling and like just taking random pictures. You know, I was very low budget. You know, I, I even at one point I used tin foil. You know, I was um, most people, a lot of photographers, they use these high end one like four thousand dollar cameras, and here I am just using a starter kit. At, you know and and I, make, and I make do. The more photos he took, the more experience he gained. And as he sharpened his skills, he began to notice a couple of things about the theme of his work. For so long, we, we've, we've been under the, the Polynesian illusion where, you know, we shake our butts and we have, uh, we have all this stuff. And, you know, and a lot, and it really does get to me when people say that, you know, we look like other islands instead of looking like our own. And this is coming from our own people. And, so that's another reason why I do what I do is to show that, you know, we are, how would you say, <sighs> that we are unique, you know, we, we, we're, we're not, we're not, we're not copycats. Working with countless of dancers from different groups, he also noticed that many of them were reluctant to be photographed despite being seasoned performers. They feel like they don't belong in a, in a magazine or they don't belong in a poster you know, showcasing Guam and I want to I want to tell him like when you have when you have pride and you have love for who you are and where you come from, it doesn't matter how you look. It's what you do. Mm -hmm. So by showing by by taking pictures of them in their in their costumes, in their outfits, that you know, when they love they love to dance, they love to show it off, you know, why not, you know, why not permanently put it on print and say, Hey, this is me, this is this is where I come from, this is Guam and and I want to be able to you know, help that with them too. Give them a positive body, body image kind of thing. And that's how those performers became immeasurable, limitless, and fearless in front of his camera. Today, Rudy has grown his lens arsenal to seven and continues to shoot stunning portraits of local groups basically for free. The name Taitsi was the name bestowed to him by his guma and is now how you can find his work on social media, including Facebook and Instagram. What I'm doing now, I feel it's, it's important not just to me, but to the people of Guam. I want to be able to document um, I'll say our traditions and our, our way of life to show how we are on the islands.